Welcome back to Jacques in the Garden. Today we're going to be covering a much requested topic, which is how to deal with these guys by not hand picking them, but actually on a broad scale solution. They could cover your whole garden very easily. It does require some purchases, but man, grubs are such a big problem in the garden for a lot of people, especially in raised beds. They could be quite problematic where they start eating your plant roots and actually lead to sudden plant death. So when you have this plant that's looking really great, it's got plenty of water, sunshine, everything else, and it suddenly dies, there's a good chance it's because these guys are down there eating the roots off your plants. So if you have them in your compost bin, totally fine. Very good, actually. They'll help break down your compost even faster. I just heard a June beetle fly by, and those June beetles are actually the primary source of these grubs in my garden, at least. They're also known as fig eater beetles here in San Diego because they love eating figs. But without further ado, let's get into exactly how to treat them on a broad scale using something special called beneficial nematodes. You might be wondering what exactly a nematode is, and all I'll say is that it is a microscopic soil microorganism. It lives in the soil, and it, it's a predator for a lot of different larval and pupal stage insects and bugs. So the nice thing about it is it's not just for grubs. It actually will attack termites, it'll attack ants, it'll attack flies, anything like that that is generally considered a pest in the garden especially at this time of year where we're transitioning into the winter, we wanna start controlling some of these things before they get out of hand. So what I have here is from Arbico Organics. I purchased these myself, but I'll put a link down at the bottom if you guys wanna find it. This is the only real source I know of that's trusted, which is why I use them. And this is a triple combo pack. It has three different types of nematodes. So every nematode serves a different purpose. This has a combination that will attack things like cabbage maggots, uh, humpbacked flies, onion maggots, uh, this one will attack cutworms, fleas, fly larvae, termites. And the last one here is Nemaseek, which is one that is targeting grubs more so than the others. So I actually just realized I mixed all these bags up. It doesn't really matter because what I'm going to do here is actually take half of each bag and add it to this water. What I'm going to do is mix it into the water and from there we'll actually dilute that into here. And we're going to use this hose end sprayer to spray it across our entire garden and get rid of these grubs once and for good, at least for now. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later on, but first I'm going to do this in a more kind of intense way because I'm going to be splitting this with someone. So I won't bore you guys with that detail, but I'm going to be weighing each bag, splitting it in half, adding it to my water, and then mix it up and we'll take it from there. Now we have our nematodes in the water and I'm going to be mixing it very, very well. I'll probably get something bigger than this twig here to mix it a little better, but we want this to be perfectly homogenous because what we're going to do is take little portions of it, add it to our sprayer, and then spread it throughout the garden. So as we're doing it, we wanna make sure we're continuously mixing it so we're not just getting all the nematodes in one clump, but we're getting them throughout our entire space. And I've got a decent amount of space to cover here, not just what's behind me here, but I have the other garden as well. So I'm gonna finish mixing this up and we'll talk about how to use this guy right here. So there is something else special and very important to mention, which is when to apply these nematodes. You can see right now, my whole garden's actually very wet. I am doing this video today for a reason, and that's because it rained yesterday. It's supposed to rain tonight, and you want all your soil to be fully saturated. Not saturated, I guess, but moist enough that the nematodes can actually survive when you spread them. If you just spray them into dry dirt, they're not going to do anything. They'll just die, and you'll think, wow, I just wasted all my money, and those nematodes were useless. That was user error. So the fact that it's going to rain tonight and the fact that it rained the night before means that these nematodes will be very well situated to get into the soil and survive and thrive and kill all the grubs for me. So that's a very important caveat to not forget. Now we have our nematode soup and I have my sprayer here and I'm ready to apply. So the way these things work is that you add whatever you wanna spray into this bottom reservoir. Usually you start with water and then you add whatever you're mixing in to that. The way this thing works is that as you turn this dial, it'll actually control how much diluted spray you're putting out from this canister. And the recommendation from Arbico Organics was that you would do a four ounce dilution. So what we're going to do now is, this is a very concentrated mix. I'm going to take two shots of it. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna mix it first because you wanna make sure it's perfectly mixed every single time you take a dose. Take a shot, a little scoop of nematodes. We're gonna do two shots every time. Now, getting this kind of dilution perfectly can be a challenge and it can be something that you actually do try to accomplish. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to make sure I have a nice strong brew and I'm just gonna spread it across my garden. So here we go. I have it set to four ounce dilution. I'm going to attach my spray, my hose itself. So here's a quick demonstration of how it works. If I click on, 
it's going to automatically, actually before I do that, I'll make sure it's really fully, truly mixed. And then, so now when I turn that on, it's now spraying nematodes everywhere. So these nematodes should get into the soil and now start attacking those grubs. As I mentioned, some of these things, they're not well made, but they have different spray patterns like this one. And then this one, which is a stream. <laughs> and then this one is probably the most useful if you're doing something like a lawn application or across a garden bed, because you could just come in and fan spray your whole entire garden bed. So now let's go ahead and do that. But before we go across the whole garden, let's set up our experiment here. All right, so we'll see. I, that should be enough nematodes. I'm gonna do one more blast for good measure to see if it kills these grubs for us. <laughs> and then we'll know if this truly works. The reason I'm starting with this bed here is that this is where my first fall transplants went in. So I wanna make sure that these guys are well protected. And by applying a nice beneficial nematode dose, I'll know that at least the grubs won't kill my plants. I'm actually also going to spray some of my pathways because there's no reason the grubs aren't gonna live there as well. And while I'm over here, I'll also mention, some people call them nematodes or nematodes. Personally, I'm gonna call them nematodes because to me it sounds better, but <laughs> feel free to call them nematodes. As you're spraying every once in a while, take your whole spray contraption and give it a good shake to make sure that they're still homogenized. My guess is that if you remove this straw, it would probably work even better but there's too much straw in my garden for me to actually remove it all. If you have the option to spray directly onto bare dirt, I would probably recommend that over this option. You can see here that I'm starting to get pretty low, and since I'm angling this a lot, I'm worried that I'm not going to pick up all the nematodes. So I'm gonna go ahead and recharge this, but we did start here, and now we're down to here. So we know that we're at least spreading the nematodes in the garden. The stream also works great for when you wanna target directly at the root of a plant. That way you know that the nematodes are right at the root base of your plant where they are going to do the most work. If you're a chicken owner, one of the best use cases for the beneficial nematodes is actually spraying the run where your chickens are. Now you might say, okay Jacques, but if I do this, that means there won't be any grubs for them to eat. Now that might be true, but honestly my chickens are pretty picky and they don't seem to like them that much. But what I'm getting here is actually the benefit of killing off any of these pupil or larval stage of a fly. So if you have a lot of chicken poop, you tend to have some flies. And I'm hoping that by applying some nematodes right now, what they'll do is actually help control my fly population, which to be honest, isn't that bad, but I'll take what I could get because after a rainstorm like this and a bunch of chicken poop, there's a good chance I'm going to have way more flies than I know what to do with. So hopefully this works, but it's another great benefit for these beneficial nematodes. I should mention really quickly that with nematodes, there is no harm to any pets, chickens, dogs, cats, birds, you name it. They're pretty much only going for anything that's in the soil, things that we want to actually deal with. So pretty great. If you have a container garden or a small space and don't really have the room to maneuver a hose everywhere, you could also use a little sprayer or a watering can, whatever you want. But we're pretty much addicted to these new sprayers here. This one's called the Venus Super. Uh, they're from Quasar. And it's actually a really cool product and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna scoop up one shot of nematodes in here because this is going to be a much more sort of concentrated solution. So the way this works is it has this hose attachment with the weight on it. And what that means is that when I put this in here, I could actually spray this from any direction, upside down, sideways, you name it, it could spray it. So let's go ahead and pump this up. And I'm going to be using this on a stream because I wanna basically inject it directly into the soil. So it just made the little sound, which means that it's pressurized. And here we go. So you can see I'm getting a nice strong stream. And actually, let me mix this up first because what we want is all those nematodes to get blasted through the straw right into the root zone. And when I say upside down, here's an example. This actually moves as well, which is kind of interesting. But look at that. So it doesn't really matter what angle you're at or where you're applying it. You could turn this however you want and you'll get the nematodes exactly where you need them. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the rest of my container garden, as well as my huge backyard garden over here. And that's really it for this one. I hope you guys learned something. I'll have a link to a video right here, which talks about how to actually sift grubs out by hand if you don't want to go the nematode route.